This Questips video will review frequently asked questions and best practices for accessing and submitting the online recommendation form. We will cover the recommendation requirements for the National College Match for High School Seniors and the College Prep Scholars Program for High School Juniors, how you are registered and notified as a recommender through the student-driven process, what to do if you did not receive an email asking you to be a recommender, why your recommendation link may not be working, submitting recommendations for multiple students, filling out and submitting the form, saving your recommendation as a file and confirming your submission, and finally, some additional resources that you can explore both as counselors or general recommenders. Educator recommendations are a valuable part of a student's application, as they provide an outside perspective on your student's ability and character. A great recommendation provides classroom context and examples we may not be able to find elsewhere in the student's application, or it allows us to differentiate between students from the same school. The National College Match for High School Senior requires two teacher recommendations and one counselor recommendation, which is called a school report. Counselors may upload unofficial test score reports, an unofficial transcript, and a school profile to the school report, but please note that these materials may also be uploaded by the student from their application portal. The College Prep Scholars Program for high school juniors, however, requires just one teacher recommendation. Students initiate the process by registering recommenders in their application by entering educator information. Once a student registers you in their application system, you will receive an email within 20 minutes with a link to your student's recommendation form. As a recommender, you do not need to create an account or enter a PIN number to validate an account. In the email you receive, you will find critical information, including the date and time of the application deadline, link to specific resources available to you, and a link to a secure online recommendation form for your student. If you do not receive an email, please check all your inboxes, including your junk or spam folder. Note that some school firewalls may block your emails. Also double check that your student has entered your email correctly, including all parts of the address such as .edu or .org. If you still cannot locate the email, please contact us directly at educators at questbridge.org with your student's name and if possible, Questbridge ID number, and we'll send you a direct link. Please note that we can only send links to the email address your student has registered for you. If you click on a link and are led to a page that indicates your link is inactive, you are no longer registered as your student's recommender. Students have the option to exclude recommenders in the system. Please reach out to your applicant to make sure they still wish for you to be the recommender, and if so, to have them re-register you again in their system so you can receive a new link. At the top of the recommendation form, you will see your student's name and your name. If you are submitting recommendations for multiple students, this is a great place to confirm you are writing for the correct student. If you are registered as a recommender for multiple students, you will see a drop-down box with each student's name in order to toggle between students' recommendations forms. It is important to note that if your students register you at different email addresses, you will not see them in the same drop-down box. You may also take note of the message from your applicant, if they provided one, as well as whether they waived their right to access your report. As you explore this form, please edit or provide your information, like your first and last name, telephone, address, school, department, and how many years you've known the student. Then follow the instructions to find your school and CEUB code. If your school does not have a CEUB code or you are not affiliated with a school, enter zero or nines as described in the instructions. At the bottom of the evaluation form, you can either upload a letter or type your letter in the text box, which has a word limit. Whichever one you choose, we highly suggest that you save a copy for your records. Your student may ask you to submit another recommendation form in the future. Please note the red status box located at the top right corner of your screen, which only displays if you haven't submitted. At any time, you may preview or save your recommendation for later. In preview mode, you can see exactly what your recommendation will look like, and you can download the file to your computer by clicking the print button or the download button depending on your browser. At the completion of your recommendation, please read this statement, provide a typed signature, and submit. Please note that you may not edit your recommendation after submission, so be sure you are finished before you submit. You will see a box appear to confirm that you would like to submit, and if there are any errors that need to be resolved, you will resolve them now. Then you will see a confirmation page. 
If you are experiencing technical difficulties either uploading materials or submitting the recommendation form itself, you can first try using a different web browser, such as Firefox or Chrome. The issue may be that your computer or network has disabled JavaScript or pop-ups, which could prevent materials from submitting or uploading. The best solution is to try a computer at a different location, such as work or at school. After you have successfully submitted your recommendation, click the Display Copy button to download your recommendation. Click the Print button, then in the new window, click the Download button to save the file to your computer. Please note that the link for teacher recommendation expires 24 hours after the recommendation has been submitted, so please ensure you download a copy before then. For counselor school reports, the link does not expire, however, you will no longer be able to upload materials to the form. Please contact your applicant as students may upload unofficial transcripts and unofficial test score reports to their application. You and your student will both receive confirmation emails when your school report or recommendation has been submitted successfully, and your student will be able to confirm if all materials have been received through their application. And finally, on our website, you can find several resources for counselors and recommenders. For counselors, we have overviews of our programs, an application walkthrough that will show you exactly what the application looks like on the student end, as well as ways to support your students in this process. For recommenders, we have very similar resources, like a webinar that shows how you can write a strong recommendation letter for your student and other frequently asked questions by recommenders. With any further questions, please visit AskQB, our online help portal. If your question remains unanswered, then contact us directly at educators at questbridge.org with your student's name and if possible, their QuestBridge ID number. Thank you in advance for being a recommender and thank you so much for watching this video.